Hey, Dr. Fred, TMT, Tuesday Morning Transformation. I have a question for you. Do you ever feel unworthy? Hey, we've all felt unworthy at some point in our life. And if, if you haven't, then you haven't been through any challenges in your life. Or you had these amazing parents that uh, just taught you how amazing you were and, and you actually believed in me and run into that. But at some point, we've all felt that we haven't lived up to our God-given potential. And most, and most people strive for that their whole life because our only true purpose is to master ourselves. So we've all had these moments where we have felt unworthy, right? Now here's, here's the challenge with that and here's how this happens. I mean, I was, I was raised in Catholicism, so I'm not judging, but here's what I learned. Religion tells you that you're born a sinner. Okay, so it doesn't matter what you do, you're a sinner, that's your identity. There's only one way to be forgiven and that's to go through God and I get all that. But the problem is that creates a spiritual self-esteem problem. So if I'm a sinner and then I believe that, then I might as well just act like one, right? And then what's that do? That just keeps tanking your self-esteem. And so religion creates this self-esteem problem. And then I go to service Every week I go to a church service, and what do you say? Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but just say the word and I shall be healed. So what am I saying? Lord, I'm not worthy. Lord, I'm not worthy. Lord, I'm not worthy. So every week for 18 years, every Sunday, didn't miss a Sunday, right? Italian Catholic, go to church every week. I'm not worthy, I'm not worthy. I'm... So how do you feel? Unworthy. So the thing is, that's all an illusion. Now I wanna know who the heck wrote that? Like, who's the dude that wrote that in the book because you just screwed up the spiritual self-esteem of billions of people around the world? You know, the divinity in me says, oh, you're forgiven. The South Philly Italian says, I want to kick your ass because now it's 59 years, you know, and we're learning how to get over that and billions of people around the world. So, let's see, divinity, forgiveness, humanity, where is that dude? Because you created a shitload of problems. But what's really the point here? The point is, now you could look at this, and, and what I didn't understand is, is then it says God is non-judgmental, eternally loving, loving on a divine level, not even a human level. Your sins are forgiven before you even commit them. He doesn't even see your sins. But he has to tell us whether or not we're worthy. Do you see a problem with that? I'm just curious, because that means that we have the self-esteem problem. He already sees us as perfect and create us in his likeness and image. Now you can be watching this and go, well that's not my problem because I'm definitely worthy. That's the problem. Because by universal energetic laws, if you say I'm worthy, then that makes the possibility of being unworthy possible. You can't say I'm worthy without the possibility of unworthy. You can't know black unless you know white. You can't know a blue sky until you know this cloudy sky. Right, so it's called the law of opposites. It's a universal law. So who are you really? You are a divine spirit. You're created in the likeness and image of God. We are a spiritual being incarnated in this body to create on the physical plane. We are already created perfect. We are an energy form. You're not in the universe. You are the universe, right? Our body is carbon-based. All this life forms, the stars, everything is carbon-based material. We are not a person, we are an energy. We're a focal point for universal divine energy to come through us, to manifest in the physical world. And that's why we're here. Now with that model, does worthy or what's worthy or unworthy mean? It doesn't even exist because you're in a consciousness that's so far above it that that remains insignificant. In fact, at that consciousness, it doesn't even exist. So if we're battling with worthy and unworthy, every challenge in your life is based on your level of consciousness. Then raise your consciousness. Let's be who we really are and let's connect with it. We are a divine being. It's what you believe about yourself that makes the difference. Now I get it. We think we're a human being, but are we a spiritual being having a human experience? And that's the difference. So everybody today is a life coach. So you can go on social media and people are telling you, I am worthy, do these I am worthy affirmations. But again, if you do a worthy, I am worthy affirmation, then one minute you're worthy, the next day you're not. Because both come into existence. 
So those people, as great as intentions they have and they help, and those are, you know, those are cool affirmations, but the reality is that's a level of consciousness that isn't accurate with who you really are. That's not accurate with a divine spirit. That's accurate with a potential that might be unworthy. And we're here to fulfill a soul purpose as a divine spirit. So how can you fulfill your purpose if you have this model? And the reality is that you can't. So eliminate, don't do those affirmations. Understand that people are operating at their level of consciousness at that time. Let's be above it. We don't judge people because everybody is on their own soul path. But we don't want to do those affirmations and we don't need to resist it or ignore it. What we do is we have more empowering affirmations. Like I'm a divine spirit. God is my partner. My divinity moves through me. I am the universe. I am a spirit incarnated here to fulfill a soul purpose and everything that I am called to do is being met right now that we pull all the desires of our heart from the spirit world into the physical world and we manifest on universal abundance. Isn't that more powerful than I am worthy? Like, what do you think? Isn't that a consciousness that's above? What does that level of belief system and consciousness create? So when we go through this, there's three steps. How many steps? Three steps that we'd like you to do because we gotta take action, man. Knowledge is not power, this is just knowledge. Execution is power. Okay, so three steps. One, stay connected. What's that mean? Hey, meditate, read sources, bring that into your body, breathe into you. Actually, what we have coming up on You Are More Powerful, Com, we have affirmations of the whole healed system. We have about 15 affirmations that you can do every day. Breathe those into you where you can actually come in contact with your divinity. They're coming up. We'll let you know when they're coming up soon. Uh, then affirm your divinity. Number one, stay connected. Number two, affirm your divinity. And number three, smile and have gratitude. Do you know when you just smile, even when you don't feel like it, it changes your brain chemistry. It changes the whole chemistry in your body that brings you into a more empowering state. Have gratitude. Gratitude is, is the bridge between fear and love. So stay connected. Affirm your divinity. Have gratitude. And let's live our divinity and that power because we're here to do great things and impact the lives of others. Okay guys, send this around the world. Please share, please comment. We love you, and uh, we'll see you next week.